Hello, in this video tutorial we're going to talk about lights and lighting and lamps and uh, all of that fun stuff and do a little bit of rendering. So where we last kicked off was just out on how to alter our renders uh, and if we go to our 3D view, this is my room that I've currently got set up. I'm just going to close that. Alright, so how do we put lights in? Lights come in multiple different um, ways and um, we're just going to move my room around and I'm going to put a couple of different lights and I'll put a ceiling lamp up here on the roof I might put a, a lamp on that table and I might replace this funky coat rack um, with a with a standalone lamp and then turn them on and render them okay so how do we do that well firstly I might just select this and delete it there we go that's an easy one uh, so to do lights we come over to the lamp tool uh, press it and similar when we're doing objects just select and then press Control T and just straight up start worrying about what you're going to do. So um, we've got heaps of options here, so maybe we might do a desk lamp first. Um, we can change intensity, we can change the colour. Uh, probably don't go too silly with the colours, but you know it will let you um, create any type of luminescence on that. So um, as with everything in ArchiCAD, there's, there's a gazillion things to keep going into, or at the very least only at these settings. Uh, that's still probably more than we want to. So I'm just going to select this desk lamp, press OK. Uh, I'm going to be in my 3D environment in this case, and you'll see that it kind of st will stick to planes pretty well, so I'm just going to deliberately move my view so I can put it into the right spot. So I'm going to try and center it on this table. OK, that works, that's winning. So next I'm going to press Control T again and get a new light and we might do a floor lamp. So let's, uh, we might do this one of these four. The, this kind of looks probably the most similar. Just using the scroll wheel to slide up and down. So I'll press OK. Uh, just so you're aware there are other light things but we're doing a house here so let's just stick to the interior. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do this floor lamp, um, don't need to change any settings, and I might just put it in this corner over here. Uh, oops, I am currently just in my normal view, so just want to have a look. Great, come back, light tool, control T, select, make sure it's the right one, put it in place. Okay, uh, pretty enough, I might just move that over a fraction, it looks like it's colliding with the wall, so I'm just going to select and drag it ever so slightly. You can see the rectangular uh, envelope, so to speak, of it, although I can move it over here. Um, it's probably a bit, bit too close, so I might just leave it, you know, pretty much in the corner without colliding. Uh, and the last thing I want to do is just put a lamp on the roof. Now, we can also turn these lamps on and off, but anyways, let's put a, put a ceiling light in. Uh, there's a few different options here. So I'm probably going to do a recessed spot, I think. Let's just have a look. Ah, ceiling lamp, perfect. Might do this, and even still I get some more options. I might just stick with this default. Uh, I don't think there's anything I necessarily need to change. Yeah, okay. And whilst I'm in 3D, again, that's just going to snap into the right spot. I hope that didn't go there at all, did it? Okay, uh, I wonder what's going on here. Let's select that light and just make sure it's in the right spot. It looks like it's upside down to me. Might just delete that and try it again. Lamp tool, control T, select the whoop, ceiling, ceiling lamp, I'm not sure if I had the wrong thing selected. Uh, press OK and if I can pitch that there. Okay, it's looking a lot better. Cool, I'm just going to uh, orientate my view again, so I can't see that lamp up there. Um, okay, this has been modified, so I'll just select that lamp, change that to being that standalone floor lamp. Okay, let's just double check everything else is as it should be. Okay, great, so I've got my three lights. Uh, really simply, when I go to Document Creative Imaging, um, I can go to my render settings and I need to actually turn those lights on okay so lamps also illumination um, this is going to ex ex extend the the time it takes to render but that's okay in terms of the scene what I might do is 
I might make it at dusk. Do I see dusk anywhere? No, so I'm going to say, show more. And I want to indoor. No. HDRI, um, high definition rendering. I uh, don't want that. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Dusk. Outdoor dusk. And we'll do a fast. And let's just see what happens. I'm going to hit render. I might just um, pause this video and hopefully come back once this is rendered because I think this might take a moment. Okay. Okay, so that was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. 40 seconds to render. You can see the lamps are turned on and they look pretty normal. Um, so what I can do is maybe adjust the lamp power. I can just grab that and slide it up. I don't want to make it too strong. Uh, but the other thing I might do is see if there's a way to maybe make this one be a little bit brighter. So already up the top when I just select it, I can see some different things here. Let's just play around with this just to show the point. So let's make it a green, oh, sorry, let's make it a pink light and let's just make the intensity, I don't know, let's see if we can do 200. Uh, if I press Control T, I should also have these options. All right, so that should be a really bright light. Uh, we'll press OK and let's just go back and quickly render that one out. So document, creative imaging, and I'm just going to render straight up. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, so that render took 45 seconds, which is pretty good. Uh, you can see that the pinks obviously worked, but it's horrendous. Um, also, you can see that it's not looking ultra sharp and crisp. Um, so a couple of things we might change here. So let's go to the uh, the actual room and change some things. So I selected my slab already and pressed Control T and I've just put a wooden surface on top so you could make it all surfaces or you can make them all linked together uh, and this was by default so it could be something else if you wanted to. So there you go, slightly different. Uh, same as with the walls. Um, I'm just going to press Control T see if I can change just the inside surface to I don't know, my paint. Um, this white should be pretty good. I'll press OK and OK, that's looking better as well and probably should fix up this ceiling, the Giproc ceiling. Um, actually, that's all right. Fine white. OK, so let's just bring my view back. I might just modify that lamp again. Might bring it back to being a um, bit more of a warmer color. It's probably somewhere around that. Somewhere between yellow and orange and then change the intensity back down a little bit but keep it up. And I might mod... So I was from here going to show you how to modify the um, render settings. So we go up top to document and creative imaging and uh, photo rendering settings. Um, I did do this previously and it didn't work out so well so I cancelled it. What I did was I changed it to a uh, final and physical and I upped my resolution. Now don't up, the, uh, don't up the resolution, 800 by 600 is fine for what we're doing and I'd encourage you to not do this unless you want to spend a long time going for the physical. So I might just keep it back at that. Um, the medium level is, is a good level. Um, and I'll show you what happened on my computer. So I've got a reasonable computer, 1080 graphics card, um, uh, octa-core um, CPU. Uh, this renders for 12 and a half hours. Um, it's looking pretty good, but it's, I don't think it's looking that much better than, than what I already had, uh, which took one minute. Uh, also, at one point I tried to blow it up to 4K resolution. Um, so this is zoomed at 34%. Uh, I'll zoom into 100%, uh, 100%. So this was going to render at 4K, and I stopped that after four hours. So keep it at that 8 by 800 by 600 um, size, and um, don't worry about going up to the higher level because I don't think it's going to be worth the render time, especially when that um, that prior detail looks pretty good. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.